Welcome to Better Every Day, your source of information in matters of self-improvement, health, motivation, and self-help. Hello and nice to see you again. If you are new to the channel, consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you can be updated with the latest videos which might be of help to your self-improvement. Edmodo, the Dapid Recommended Learning Management System Platform Hi guys! Today I am going to teach you how to use Edmodo app for teachers. Edmodo is one of the recommended learning management system platforms by the Department of Education as a solution for distance learning and hybrid learning. So let's start the tutorial. First, you have to open your browser and in the search bar, you have to type edmodo.com. Now we are here at Edmodo. If you have an Edmodo account already, you can select the login button. But if you don't have an account yet, just click the sign up button. There are three options here, for teachers, for students, and for parents. You have to select the teacher account. You can sign up with your Google account, Microsoft account, or Apple account. But I'm going to be using my Google account for signing up. Just enter your email address here and, and your password and click Next. And now you have your Edmodo account. Now after you create your account, you can see this interface. At the upper left side is where your profile is. When you click it, you will see all of the information about yourself. You can add a bio and tell something about yourself, your interests where you can select at least one subject so that the contents that you will see is personalized in your timeline, your experience in teaching, your social media accounts, schedule, previous schools that you worked at, and also connect with other Edmodo members. You can upload a profile picture so that your students will know that it's you. There are two options on how you can set your profile photo. You can upload your photo from your computer, or you can just create a personalized avatar, like this one. Once you are done, just click Save and click OK. If you look at the left side of the website, you can see all your classes and groups here. To create a class, just click the three dots icon at the top right and click create a class. Fill out the needed information such as the name of your class, class description, grade level, subject, and subsubject. You can also select the color that you want for each class. And once you're done, click create. There are two ways on how you can invite students in your class. First is to add students. Here you'll enter their names and their email address. Another way is to add them with the class code that is generated upon creating the class. Just issue this class code to your students. Click the lock code button so that only the students who have your class code can send a request for them to join your class. Because if the code is unlocked, Everyone can instantly join your class. Going back to class, for you to post contents, just click here to type your announcement. You can attach files and images from your computer. Just click this icon and choose what you want to add and click open. You can attach files from your Google Drive too by clicking this icon. Once you're done, click post. To create an assignment, you can load an existing assignment, meaning you already finished an assignment and you just have to post it, or to create a new assignment. 
just click Assignment and New. Here is where you should put your assignment title and here for the instructions. You can attach files from your computer or add link if you want to. Once you're done, just click Assign. You can choose what class and groups you want to send this assignment to. Here is where you can select the due date and time. You have an option if you want to log after the due date, meaning no students can submit their work after the deadline. You can also schedule when you want to post this assignment by clicking Schedule for Later right here. Now that you're done, click Assign. After posting your assignment, click this icon and you will see who already passed or turned in their assignment and who haven't turned in yet. There are two options for posting a quiz. You can load an existing quiz or create a new one. Fill in the details here such as the quiz title and instructions. Now to create questions, you can choose from the drop-down arrow what type of question you want to ask. We have true or false, multiple choice, short answer, fill in the blanks, matching, and multiple answer. For example, let's select true or false. Below that is where you can type your question or a statement. You can now mark what is the correct answer for that number. Lastly is how many points you will give for that item. Just click Add New Question if you want to add more items to your quiz. To check your quiz, click this Preview button. Just click the Assign button once you're done. You can choose what class and groups you want to send this quiz to. You can set the due date and time and an option for you if you want to lock after the due date. You can set a time limit. And more options below such as randomizing questions, add to grade book, and if you want your students to see their results after taking the quiz. You can schedule this quiz for later or you can post it immediately by clicking assign. Through Edmodo, you can connect with educators all over the world. Thank you for finishing this tutorial and I hope that you learn how to use Edmodo as your learning management system platform. If you like this video, please share it to others to help them as well. That's all for now. Please like and share. Goodbye!